those TV themes. Welcome again to Forgotten TV, Episode 2, where we talk about TV shows from the 70s and 80s that many people may have forgotten about. I'm Chris Cooling, and I grew up watching uh, TV in the early 1970s on a 1969 19-inch black-and-white Admiral Viceroy television on a roll-around cart. Uh, sort of similar to Back to the Future. We can watch Jackie Gleason while we eat. Yes, uh, we probably didn't have a, even a color TV till 1979, and that 10-year warranty ran out on that Admiral TV. But uh, back in the day, before VCRs, before on-demand entertainment content, um, I had a Panasonic AM-FM TV band handheld radio that my grandparents had given me. And sometimes as a kid, if I was not allowed to watch TV, I'd sit in my room with that little handheld radio and... You know, the, the VHF band on that television was broadcast on is uh, just an extension of FM. So the little radio would pick up the audio signal from the over-the-air television broadcast. And I could sit in my room and listen to Knight Rider or Voyagers or Tales of the Gold Monkey if I wasn't allowed to watch TV for whatever reason. Later on, when I got a Panasonic audio cassette recorder, I could record on audio cassette those very theme songs by holding it up to the uh, little speaker on the TV that we had and and record those and, and listen to them later. Yeah, TV themes can be iconic. They can immediately transport you to another time, crossing international borders. Some even transcend being a TV show theme and become pop culture touchstones in themselves. They're recognizable even to people that may have never watched the show. You think about iconic themes such as The Twilight Zone, Hawaii Five-0, or the 1960s Batman, or Mission Impossible. These are the types of themes that I'm uh, thinking about. And TV themes have evolved. You know, before the year 2000, the average TV theme song was 61 seconds long, which means some shows had uh, opening segments that were a lot longer than one minute long. Yeah, in the 1960s and 70s, TV theme songs reached the pinnacle of popularity. In the 60s and 70s, 29 actually charted on the uh, Billboard Singles Top 60 chart. And if you want to break it down, the most popular time periods for TV themes were in the early 1960s, uh, 60 to 64, where nine TV themes made it uh, to the Billboard charts, and in the late 1970s. Uh, We'll be focusing on that today, from 1975 to 1979, with 10 TV themes that made it into the top 60 Billboard singles chart. Some even making it to number one. I mean, I remember both Joey Scarberry's Believe It or Not from Greatest American Hero uh, and later on L.A. Law playing on the radio in the mid to late 1980s. Yeah, some theme songs even qualify in the super long theme song category, which is definitely a category that we will uh, talk about here on the podcast as well as on uh, the Forgotten TV site. But since the year 2000, The average TV theme length is only 35 seconds long. Some shows today just cold open, like Saturday Night Live. No opening theme, no no opening segment. Sometimes credits that just extend into several minutes into the beginning of the show. Yeah, since the year 2000, no TV theme song has actually charted at all in Billboard's Top 60. And... TV themes have been on such a decline that in 2010, the organizers of the Emmy Awards actually proposed dropping the award for Outstanding Original Main Title Theme. Well, that was not the case in the 1970s. Remember on Forgotten TV, we look at shows that are from 1970 to 1990, so the 70s and 80s. But return with me now to 1970, a more mellow time even reflected in the network promos. For a few good laughs The kick of adventure A quiet moment To share a song That's part, part of the fun of life This fall, we've got a lot to share New shows, favorite shows Stars who will brighten your nights. So come on, let's get together. We got a lot to share. Let's get together. 
The Partridge Family Forgotten TV. Well, uh, you're right. With four seasons and 96 episodes, most people remember The Partridge Family. But what we just heard was the lesser heard first season theme song, When We're Singing, performed by Shirley Jones, David Cassidy, John and Tom Baller, Jackie Ward, and Ron Hicklin. And the instrumentals were by none other than the Los Angeles top studio session musicians, The Wrecking Crew. Worthy of their entire own podcast, The Wrecking Crew in the 1960s and 1970s have an endless number of TV and film and music credits to their name. Uh, so much so in the fact they're, it's a, they, they've become a book. Uh, a 2008 uh, documentary was made. You can find it uh, on YouTube and Amazon. Uh, seriously, it's extremely highly recommended. The DVD is under 10 bucks, and it's got like six hours of bonus music content. The Wrecking Crew. Um, I highly recommend it. Let's stay in 1970, shall we? Performed by the Cow Seals, that's Love American Style. The show aired from 1969 to 1974, and a lot of people may not remember it, is the TV show that gave us happy days in the 1972 episode Love and the Television Set, later retitled Love and the Happy Days for syndication. The Cunninghams become the first family on the block to get a television set. The episode was a little more adult in tone than the series that would follow it. Sort of uh, played more like Summer of 42 than what we later would expect from Happy Days. Let's move on to 1974. Big wheels rolling, gotta keep them going. Big wheels rolling, moving on. The white line is the life line. Will and Sonny make it move A good hot cup of coffee Is waiting up ahead And the rhythm of the highway Hums along Jamming gears has got to be a fever Cause men become addicted To the grind It takes a special breed To be a truck driving man And a steady hand To hold that low That was Merle Haggard singing Moving On from the 1974 TV show of the same name starring Claude Aikens. That show actually did hit number one in the Hot Country Singles in 1975. 
Moving On was uh, around for two seasons and 44 episodes. Let's truck to Was BJ and the Bear from the 1979 TV show of the same name, written by Glenn Larson and performed by the star Greg Evigan, with Claude Akins popping up again. And we're getting into the super long theme song category here with uh, this song clocking in at over a minute and a half. BJ and the Bear was around for three seasons and 48 episodes. Staying in 1979. Formed by Maureen McGovern, that was Different Worlds from the 1979 and 1980 TV show Angie with Donna Pescow and Robert Hayes. This song actually made it to number 18 in 1979. The TV show itself was around for two seasons and 36 episodes. Let's stay again in 1979.
Can anything sound more like the 70s than what we just heard? That was Making It, performed by David Naughton, who also starred on the show Making It in 1979. That song actually made it to number five on the Billboard charts in the same year. The show itself uh, did not do so well. It uh, aired for all of nine episodes in February and March 1979. It... uh, TV Guide actually ranked it as number 40 in the 50 worst TV shows of all time. Come on along to 1982. in the super long theme song category. It's the 1982 performance by Scott Baio and Aaron Moran, You Look At Me, from the 1982 and 83 TV series Joni Loves Chachi. It just became the 35th anniversary of this show, and it aired for 17 episodes in early 1982 to uh, May of 1983. Well, that's all I have for you this week on Forgotten TV. I would like to thank the YouTube channel's Retro Rebirth, Pro Classic TV, 80s and 70s Memories, and Partridge Garage for uh, finding and uploading some of these great songs for us. Until next week, you can find us on the web at Forgotten.tv. Interact with me on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. All linked up for you there on the website. I'm Chris Cooling, and we'll catch you next time on Forgotten TV.